bus tracks are very useful for being able to take multiple audio tracks, send them all out into one track, which acts as our, our room, our desired sound for all of those tracks. It's going to make our mix a lot easier. It's going to make it so we don't have to tweak multiple plugins over and over on multiple tracks to get them all to sound the same. It's going to reduce the amount of uh, strain on our processor as well, and it's just going to streamline our mix process at the same time, again, allowing us to just adjust plugins on one track uh, instead of adjusting those plugins on multiple tracks. But Ableton does not create bus tracks uh, discreetly the way that we're used to in other audio applications. If I uh, right-click and select uh, and look at the selections that I have available to me. I have insert audio track, MIDI track, and return track. We don't create bus tracks in Ableton the way that we're used to creating them in other audio applications like Pro Tools and Studio One and etc. But that's okay because we can turn an audio track into a bus track very easily. And that's what I've done here today and I'm going to show you how. Now, uh, just to give you a little overview of what I have here, I've created some tracks. On each track I have some clips, I have a kick, hats, uh, and then I have some percussive elements and various little loops, things like that. Everything right now is routing out into the master uh, receiving track in Ableton, and then all of that audio goes out, of course, and uh, ends up in my audio interface, and I hear it being played back. If I play back, let's say the kick. There's my kick track, and I can play back all of my tracks. Okay, so right now everybody's just routing out into the master.